All you're going to need are a couple of tools here. You're going to need a, some pliers. Uh, you're going to need a little uh, computer mini wrench set. This is a hexagonal wrench, really small little guy, and this is a really small flathead uh, screw or, hex or the little keys there, as well as a regular uh, flathead or Phillips head screwdriver. If you need links to those tools, I'll put them in the description box below where you can purchase them on Amazon. All right, let's do this thing. With those tools, basically what we're gonna be doing is removing the stand. You can see it kind of pivots like this. Once you lay it over flat, you can actually see where the four screws are connected to the mounting bracket on the back of this computer. Now, I've actually already removed three of those screws. They look like this. You can see they have that little hexagonal head to them. Now, all you need to do is get one of your, your hexagonal wrenches here and we're going to pop it into the into place right here. Now, if your screws are already loose, this is going to be a very easy process. You're just going to go counterclockwise, obviously, and loosen those guys up. Now, these were actually really tight for me, so I had to actually take my pliers and grip them on top here and give it a good solid turn while I was holding this back. Once that is loose, this actually just pulls right off. Okay, once we have... The stand removed, it's going to give us much better access to the uh, the back panel here. And what we're going to do to remove it is actually access two screws that are right here on the bottom. Now, they will be covered up by these little uh, rubber uh, kind of sealers. And so you can see I've taken off one off the left side already where you can see the Phillips head or, a, again, a regular flat head uh, screw exists there. So to pop these things off, that's what we're going to use our little uh, flathead key. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna pop that right out. You can use a pen or uh, any other kind of really small object, but it's just a little rubber sealer they, that covers it up. Okay, once you have these screws exposed, again, all you need to do is actually give it a quick half turn. And as you can see, it's spring-loaded and it's gonna pop that bottom right open. Again, you have to do this with both sides. But, uh, but again, once you pop that that spring, it'll lift it up enough where you can get your screwdriver underneath this, the, uh, the sides here and actually pop the clips. Now be very careful when you're doing this because you're gonna have to go along all the way around the side and basically get your screwdriver in and pop this, these clips that hold this in. Now again, once you have gone all around, this should just pop up. You can see I just did it like that. Do not yank this thing up though because it is attached as you'll see here in a moment, by a couple of different ribbons to the back as well as the, uh, the disc drive here that you can see. Okay, so the easiest way to remove this ribbon from the DVD drive is to simply come up here and on the back of this, there's gonna be uh, this little connector piece. And that'll just slide right out like that. And you can disconnect the, uh, the ribbon and then move it over to your main computer area. Okay, now that we've removed the ribbon, there's one final step, which is removing this little screw in the back here. And I'm just gonna do that really quickly with my Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, once that screw's out, you can actually just slide this DVD uh, drive straight out of the, uh, the socket there. There is our drive now, and again, this one's designed for that HP Pavilion, which means it has this plastic kind of backing cover on it. These are inserted with a couple different clips that if you just kind of wiggle out, there's one on each side, and uh, you can actually remove it just like that. And uh, there's our, our power strip piece for the Pavilion that I'll put over there to the side. So there you go. That is the, uh, the DVD rewritable drive right there um, on its own. And that's, uh, that's basically all you need to do to remove that sucker. Obviously, grab a new one. You can replace it uh, by reversing the steps pushing that back in. Save that piece in the event that you need it because a lot of the ones you buy on eBay actually will not come with that specific head uh, unit attached. All right, friends, I hope that helps. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Helps us make more videos. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll hit you up with some more great tutorial videos coming up real soon.